In a village, there was a sculptor who made beautiful idols and earned a good living from his work. His son followed in his footsteps and began making idols from a young age. The son also had a talent for making excellent idols. The father used to be happy about his son's success. However, he would always find some fault or another in his son's idols. He used to say, well done, but encouraged him to do better next time. The son did not complain either, and he followed his father's advice to continue improving his sculptures. Because of constant improvement, the son's sculptures eventually became better than those of his father. There came a time when people started buying the son's idols for a high price, while the father's idols continued to sell for the same price as before. Despite this, the father continued to point out the shortcomings in his son's idols. However, the son was not feeling well now, and he used to accept those shortcomings in his idols without minding them, but he still made corrections to them. There was a time when the son's patience reached its limit, and he answered back to his father who was constantly finding fault. The son asked, When will you stop finding fault with me? Then he continued, People say that you are a great sculptor, but if you truly had such great understanding, then why are your sculptures being sold at such low prices? I don't think I need to take your advice. My sculptures, in my opinion, are perfect. As a result, his father stopped giving advice to his son and stopped finding fault with his idols. The boy was happy for a few months, enjoying the praise and admiration for his idols. However, he soon noticed that people were no longer praising them as much as they used to, and the prices of his idols had stopped increasing. At first, the boy did not understand the reason for this, but then he went to his father and explained the problem to him. The father listened to his son calmly, as if he had known all along that this day would come. The son also noticed this and asked, Did you know this was going to happen? The father replied, Yes, because many years ago I faced the same situation. The son then asked, Why didn't you tell me about it? The father replied, Because you didn't want to understand. I know I don't make sculptures as good as you do. It's possible that my advice about idols is incorrect, and it's also true that your sculptures have never improved as a result of my advice. But when I used to point out the shortcomings in your idols, you were not satisfied with being certified by the idols you made. You used to strive to better yourself, and that striving was the reason for your success. However, the day you are satisfied with being certified by your work, and you also agree that it can't get any better, your growth has stopped. People always expect better from you, and this is the reason why you are no longer praised for your ideals, nor do you get paid much for them. The son remained silent for a while and then asked, So what should I do now? The father replied, Believe that there is always room for improvement within yourself. This mindset is one thing that will consistently inspire and motivate you to become a better version of yourself. What do you learn from story? The pursuit of continuous improvement and self-reflection is essential for personal growth and success. The son's initial success came from his willingness to accept his father's feedback and constantly strive to improve his sculptures. However, when he became complacent and stopped seeking criticism, his growth stagnated and his work lost its appeal. So one should always strive to become better. Subscribe the channel for more videos.